There you go. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for the support. How long you been lying, Zach? Since fifth grade. It's just got, it got worse until about college and it kind of evened out. And it evened out right at about bad. Right about if we lose the right one right in the final moments, we ain't getting him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think we're gonna kill today. It just feels like kill day. It feels like a kill day. Sometime right around this day, September 5th, 6th, pretty good action in my life, so. People in the comments will be like, no wonder y'all never kill anything. Y'all smell like hand soap and sunscreen. <laughs> yeah, y'all are right. Is that why these darn things keep winning you know us? You what? You're right. It's not my crotch that smells like seven day old. <laughs> <laughs> all the other bucks that we've ever shot, they just couldn't smell that. We're back up here where we spotted the big buck last night. As soon as I started to crawl over here, I could see those two smaller bucks that were with him in that same exact spot. I see a number of other does up in the hillside. My gut's kind of telling me that the big boy's somewhere close. I'm probably just gonna sit here for as long as it takes and hopefully see him. At some point we may move around a little bit, but wind's just kind of drifting that way right now. It's awesome. Anticipation's like through the roof right now. I'm pretty fired up. Get his meat on ice today, boy. <laughs> He's just a freaking toad. I keep getting more worked up about him before I see him. Good job about him, dude. I was just dead set that he was over there, but completely wrong. Yeah, I thought he was gonna be down low. Yeah, that's awesome. Good news. 
we found him again. He's just one ditch over from what he was in last night. And Roy spotted him up on the hill just glowing up there. He looked awesome. He dropped down into that ditch and we kind of lost him. We should, we should be able to see if he left to the left or down. Uh, really, he'd have a hard time getting out of there without us seeing him. So I think he's either just standing in there feeding or he bedded down in there. It wouldn't surprise me either way. It's probably only 7.30, isn't it? I think I might just walk up on one of these hills if I can get an angle on him and see him in there. Then we'll try to make a game plan for the rest of the day.
I ate some food. We're ready to rock. I'm pretty anxious right now just because usually there's not all this anticipation here. I've been hunting this thing for like, this is day six. We know where he's at. We know there's a bunch of deer down in here because we've been watching all morning. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over to that high point over there. I think if we get up there, we're gonna try to get eyes down in there and just get a different angle, try to understand the setup a little bit better. If we can't get eyes on him, at the very least we're gonna understand the route there better. We don't know exactly where he is, we just know he's right in there somewhere. I don't know that it's gonna get much better at this point, you know. It, it, you run the risk of, well, maybe we'll get in a better spot tomorrow, but like, all we got's tonight and tomorrow, so. We're gonna make a move on it, and I think we're gonna have a dang good chance. distance and try to get eyes on them again and see what we're looking at. Yeah, I think it's too hard to tell from here, I agree.
that's about all we could do today. I mean, we didn't spook him, that's the good news. I walked up on that hill and I sat there for, I don't know, maybe a half hour. And I looked up and I saw him feeding, going down the creek away from us. So we just jumped in the creek here with him and started working down. We were playing catch up. I caught a glimpse of him and then he'd go behind the hill. I'd catch a glimpse of him, he'd go behind the hill. Then when we popped around here, I saw just a wad of deer over there. They're just like, that big buck was chasing the does around, pushing them around and stuff. We're gonna go ahead and walk back out of here. We got one more morning and we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna just probably get right on that saddle. It's closer, or at least real close to the saddle where we can see down in here. Hopefully find him and make a move. Cut your losses and try one more time in the morning. I think tomorrow's kill day now, that's what they're saying. so far. Five today. Five today. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this is so ridiculous, dude. I need to listen to some sort of music. I just got like snippets of little songs that I don't even really know in my head. So, um, you ever kill before? You know what that's like? <laughs> it's like it's been a while. All right, everybody, last morning here in New Mexico. We got the wind today, which is great. You know, we've just had real calm conditions, and yesterday it was extremely calm, which made it really difficult to make moves on that buck. Today we're pushing in, getting more aggressive, and we're gonna just get set up right over the saddle where he comes through every once in a while, and a number of other deer, a number of other bucks are just around that saddle, kind of every day we've been in here. There's a chance he's somewhere else that we can't see, but we're gonna take the risk just move in close, hopefully find him or some buck to chase, and we're gonna head out of here. It's been awesome so far. I feel confident today, I love this wind. It's gonna be a little bit cooler, hopefully movement's pretty good. It's been good last couple days, so let's see what we can find. So far this morning, we've got the shivers and a couple of the bucks that we've been watching. We saw them, but we have not seen that bigger buck. He may be with them. There's this big ridge that they were bedding on yesterday. And last I saw him, I saw him just pop out for a second run onto the back side of that ridge. So they're either gonna pop back out on this side or they're gonna stay on that other side. And maybe that's where that big buck is. So I'm just going to start moving over that way to check out the other side, see if I can get eyes on them or some more bucks in general. Roy's going to stay here and just watch. Just trying to get aggressive, see if we can get eyes on them.
then it's like, could you try? Could you try to go over the top or is that just never gonna work? I mean, we talked about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it could work if we don't know exactly where he is. Well, I don't know. I would like to go over the top. It seems like the best option, but he's down in there where we can't see him right now. I just don't know that we're gonna be able to get eyes on him without blowing it all up. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could do a number of different things, for sure. Suckers might just go all the way up and over this ridge that they're on. Yeah, I feel like this is definitely the latest they've been on their feet. Mm -hmm. You could also just see them going over to the right, and if that's the case, I say we scramble to get up to there. Yeah. And just try to get eyes on them again. I think that's where they're going to go. There's just more shade over there. Yeah. I've seen bucks bed over there too. So these bucks are drifting over the ridge. And if they do that, we're gonna lose track of where they are. And if they bed, we're not gonna know exactly where they are. So I'm gonna start making a move over to that high point over there. That way I can try to keep eyes on them. Roy's gonna hang back, pack everything up, and then follow me over there. But they're slowly drifting that way. I'm just gonna make the move that way. If they go over there and bed down right away, we know where they're at. them go in and then they disappeared immediately. I busted my butt to beat them up here so I could see exactly where they bedded, but I had to do it the hard way. They just saw his rack sticking up. I can barely see the rack, but I think I got a pretty good move on, on these deer. Um, as long as there's no deer between me and them, I think I've got a legit chance of getting, getting close enough for a shot here. So I'm gonna go get Roy, make a game of him here, and then we're hunting. I think the only thing that makes sense to me to try, basically just try to drop off here. As soon as I can't see him, drop off here. And then just see where that big patch of green is. Just slide that all the way to him. The wind coming across there should take it right back over this hill. And then I just gotta be patient, I think, and just see if he moves towards me. All right, I think I should probably try it, huh? Yeah. Got to. You feel comfortable here? You want to get set up and then I'll go? Or yeah. This is the moment that we've been waiting for. I think this is it. Yeah. You wait the whole off season for, baby. One final stalk on the last day.
I don't even know if Roy knows what happened, but I got careless. I've been sitting here for who knows how long, and I just started getting impatient, which is something that I preach all the time, It's just don't get impatient in this moment. You gotta want it bad enough to not let things get in your head and just disconnect from everything outside of you in this stalk. And I got impatient and I stood up because I wanted to look down in there. And he must have saw me, the smaller of the two, because he took off out of there and then of course the big one followed. If you're ever in this situation, just never give up. Never quit on what your gut's telling you. You know, if your gut's telling you, hey, just be patient, he's in here, and that's what my gut was telling me, then just follow through. You know, had I just been sitting here for maybe 10 more minutes, maybe he would have stood up and given me a shot. He was in range, so it's not like he had to do much. I just needed to be more patient, and I wasn't. So I was sitting in this shadow right here. I was basically just sitting on that log or getting on my knees right there. And that's the tree that we were using as a landmark. You'll be able to see in the video that that's the tree that they were closest to. And then they jumped out right from underneath of it. All because I got too impatient and I stood up. So down here is where I was. And I guess just being up this high made all the difference. So let's go down there and check it out and see what it looks like. Right there's at least a bed from some point this morning. There's another bed right there. I'm not sure if that's where he saw me from or not. I would have been, I would have been like right there on the other side of this tree, the tree behind it. So he could have definitely got my skyline right there if he was looking in the right spot. It sucks because, it mostly just sucks because I made a mistake. Should have not got careless, but I guess that's part of it. <sighs> Didn't see him run across that whole hillside. I was just hyper focused on trying to spot him in that in that oak brush. I would just keep glassing that oak brush, and yeah. I guess I just got tunnel vision, and I never saw him get out of there. Yeah, yeah, they jumped down and ran away. You, know, you just do all that preparation work. Like there's not a day that went by this summer that I didn't look at the map of this area. And it's just like, man, for that, for me to just make that stupid mistake, it just seems pointless, but you gotta just learn from it. That's hunting, but I definitely feel like I know better than that. That's the ones that hurt the most is like when you knew better, you know? It won't be the last time I stalk a deer this year, but It'll be the last time that I stalk that buck. Maybe the last time I hunt this area, you know. If you could just add the biggest stress on top of all of the fact that we didn't get this buck, it's a, there's a ton of editing that we gotta do before we go on the next hunt, which is not that far away. So, it's gonna be some long days. <sighs> all right, well, with that, I guess back to the truck. All right, guys. We made it back to the truck and this is gonna wrap up the New Mexico trip. You know, leading up to it, I was really looking forward to it and I studied the map like crazy. I wanted to come down here and scout, but I never never made it down here. But New Mexico is an awesome place. Um, I'm definitely gonna be back as soon as I can get another tag. Um, it's really just cool to be here and check out a different area. I'd never even been to New Mexico before Roy and I rolled in. so. Um, it's been super fun. It's been a huge challenge and it's also the first time that Roy or I have hunted the same buck so much and you know, there's a lot of things that we can learn uh, From that, you know, just watching him interact with other deer the terrain Hunters it was just really cool to watch and, and I'm pretty bummed that I messed that up. I Definitely should have been more patient even if it's gonna take four hours for him to stand up if everything's in your favor Just be patient. And I just got impatient and I stood up and I should have never done that You know, it is a tough one to swallow, but as always, you know I'm just happy to be able to come out here and do this and you know, I hope that We're able to do stuff like this for forever because 
that was a pretty awesome experience here in New Mexico. I'm looking forward to the next thing, and I guess we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching this New Mexico series.